Hey everyone, it's John from Campfire Hosting here. Today, we will show you how you can install All The Mods 10 or ATM10 mod pack along with how you can create an ATM10 server that all your friends can join. Welcome to All The Mods 10, the ultimate mod pack where the only limit is your imagination. Whether you're diving into high-tech automation, mastering powerful magic systems, or building jaw-dropping mega bases, this pack has something for every kind of Minecrafter. Before we start, make sure that both Minecraft and Java are installed. If you need to install Java, you can Google Java Download and click on the first link. Just make sure you're downloading the correct operating system, either Windows, Mac, or Linux. The first step is to download and install the CurseForge app. The CurseForge app lets you easily find, download, and manage mods for Minecraft. So to start, we will Google CurseForge and click on the first link here. Click Get CurseForge app on the upper right hand corner, and then click Download Standalone. Once CurseForge is finished downloading, locate the installer, usually in your downloads folder. Double click to run the installer to install CurseForge. Once you have this window open, we'll click Next, click I agree, click Next, and let CurseForge install. Once CurseForge is installed and opened, click on Browse and type in all the mods to locate the ATM10 mod pack. Once you located the mod pack, click Install and let the installation process begin. Since this is a massive mod pack with over 400 mods, it may take some time. With all the mods 10 installed, you can now try out the mod pack in single player by clicking play and launching your Minecraft. The next part of the video will showcase how to create a multiplayer All The Mods 10 server that all your friends can join using Campfire Hosting. For those who don't know, Campfire Hosting is a credit-based Minecraft server hosting service where you only pay for what you play. There are no monthly commitments and we are four times more affordable than traditional server hosts. It is really easy to set up as you will see and you get two hours to try for free. To start, click sign up and create an account. Once you have an account and are logged in, we can click Add Server. For server type, we will select NeoForge as this is the mod loader for all the mods 10. We can open up our dashboard again and make sure that our Minecraft version is the same as the game version for all the mods 10 here. So that's 1.21.1. And then we will uncheck the use recommended NeoForge version and make sure that our NeoForge version also lines up here. So so for all the mods 10, it says 21.1.148. So our NeoForge version should also be 21.1.148. Make sure you're careful here and this fully lines up. Give your server a name. I'll call mine ATM10 and give your server a subdomain. You'll be using the subdomain to join your server later on. Once that's all done, click create server. Once your server has been created, we can start your server once by clicking start. And what this will do is generate some of the world files that we will need for our server. While your server is starting, we can also go back to our CurseForge dashboard, find all the mods 10, and click on this button, download server pack. This will download the server mod files that we will use to transfer to our server later on. When the server is fully started, we can now stop the server and proceed with moving the mod files to our server. To do that, click on the actions and click save and stop server. Once your server is fully stopped, go to the file managers tab and click add SFTP user. This is to create login credentials that will be used to access your server. Give yourself any username, I'll call mine John, dash all the mods, and give yourself any password and then click create user. Remember the username and password that you're creating here. The next step 
is downloading and installing FileZilla. FileZilla is a file manager that lets you connect to your server and upload large amounts of files at once. Perfect for server packs like all the Mods 10 that have over 400 mods. To download FileZilla, you can click on the links here for your respective operating system, either Windows, Mac, or Linux. I am on a Windows computer, so I will click on Windows, and then click Download FileZilla Client. The basic version here is fine, so we can click Download, and let the download begin. Once FileZilla is finished downloading, we can locate the installer, usually in the Downloads folder once again, double click the installer, click I agree, this free promotion we will decline, click next. Since I already have FileZilla installed, it will ask me to reinstall FileZilla, which is okay. But if this is your first time installing FileZilla, just click install FileZilla, click next, 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 and then click install. Once that's done, we can now start up FileZilla. Once you have FileZilla installed and open, we will now connect to your server using the credentials we made in the previous step. First, make sure your server is fully stopped. If it is stopping or starting, the files will not transfer properly. Once, you're, once the server is stopped, we can click on the upper left hand corner, click on new site, and then for protocol, we will change FTP to SFTP. For host, we will copy the host here. It should be sftp.campfirehosting.com. For port, you can copy the port up here. It should be 30,030. For user, it is the user that you created previously. Mine is john all the mods, so put that in. The password is the password you created previously as well. Once that's all filled out, you can click connect, click OK. And you can see here, we have now established a connection to the server. Now locate the server files that we downloaded previously. It should be in a compressed zip file. What we want to do is extract this before we start moving the files to our server. So we want to right click and extract all, click extract, and let that load. Once your server files have been extracted, as you can tell by this file folder for the server files, we can now proceed with moving the files to your server. We can close this, go to FileZilla, and locate where that folder is. It should be in your downloads folder. If you can't find it in your downloads folder, you can click on last modified and make sure you find this server files file folder. You don't want this .zip. This is compressed, you cannot use this. Once you have this server files folder, double click, find the configs and the mods folder. You can press control to select them both and then drag these two folders to the right side, which is your server. If it asks to overwrite, you can click OK. And you can just click always use this action and let the mods transfer. Once the transfer is finished, you can go back to your console, go back to the generals tab and start your server. I'm actually going to change the selected server package to redstone or gold. Since all the mods 10 is a massive mod pack with over 400 mods, we would probably need at least eight gigabytes of RAM for the server to be functional. But I'll select redstone just in case and click update. I'm now going to start the server. Once your server has fully started, you can now open up your all the mods 10 Minecraft, go to multiplayer, click add server and the server address was the subdomain that we created previously mine is all the mods .com. click done you can now join your server you can generally apply these steps to create a modded server for any mod pack you see on curse forge if you need help setting up our support staff at campfire hosting is more than happy to get you set up happy crafting and let us know in the comments which mod you would like to see next. Bye-bye.